PC Health Check can assess if your system meets the requirements for Windows 11. It will show you the reasons why your PC may not support Windows 11 update. Download PC Health Check first. Install the app and open it. Click on Check Now in the main interface. You can click See All Results to see which aspects are not available. Since this tool does not offer any solutions to address these issues, it's better to use a more practical tool to fix them. Next, I will show you how to use the free tool to check and fix the issues. If you find it useful later, please download it in the description. Launch the tool. Click Tools and Windows 11 Update Checker. Hit Start Check. Wait for a few seconds you'll see the result. Now you can click on Fix It to access a detailed tutorial on upgrading the incompatible configuration. Method 2. Bypass TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot. Press Windows R, then type regedit to open Registry Editor and go to this directory. Right-click to select New and Key. Then name the new registry key as LabConfig. Under the LabConfig key, right-click to create two DWORD 32-bit value options. Name them as Bypass TPM Check and Bypass Secure Boot Check, respectively. Then click them and change the value data from 0 to 1. Method 3. Win to Go Creator. The advanced edition of this tool can help you bypass all Windows 11 requirements to access and experience the system without the need to upgrade the hardware. Before proceeding, please ensure that the size of the USB or external hard drive has a capacity of at least 13 GB and it is important to back up all your important data in advance. Connect the USB to your computer. Click All Tools and then select Windows to Go Creator. Click Create Windows to Go for Personal Computer and Next. Choose the option Create Windows to Go with System Disk ISO. Click Next to proceed. Choose the USB drive as the target and select the Proceed button to continue. At this point, you will receive a notification informing you that all data on the USB will be erased. Select the option Yes to proceed. When it finished, you can disconnect the USB and attempt to boot it on another computer. Thanks for watching till here, I'll see you in the next two videos. If you have any questions please leave comments or email us.